Roberts, Ipsos, Paul, that is down the last 24 hours. Should Joe Biden leave the presidential race after the debate? Look, overall, yeah, the majority of Americans, 56 percent, say, yeah, he should leave the race. But look among Democrats. This is Joe Biden's base. This is why he is the president. They nominated him back in 2020. They nominated him again in 2024. Sixty six percent of Democrats say, no, he should not leave the race. And of course, it's going to be these Democratic voters who put the pressure on their members of Congress, their governors, the elected officials, party actors to try and get Biden to leave. At this particular point, though, the Democratic activists are not necessarily going to put the pressure on Joe Biden because the fact of the matter is most Democratic voters, two thirds of them, want Joe Biden to stay in this race. They don't want him to quit, Kate. But how does so how does this compare and what you can compare it to in terms of past incumbents who then decided to not run for re-election. Right. You know, there are two incumbents who were going to potentially run and decided to get out. In 1952, it was Harry S. Truman. In 1968, it was Lyndon Baines Johnson. So, look, they quit before the nominations were decided, right? They quit as the primary season was going on. This is the choice for nominee for before incumbents quit. Look, in 1952 with Harry S. Truman, look at this. He was well below 50 percent. He was just at 31 percent. He was losing the primaries to Estes Kwefafer at 35 percent. But look at that, 31 percent. That is way, way, way low. Just 66 percent of Democrats right now want Joe Biden to stay in the race. This was just 31 percent for Truman back in 52. How about Lyndon Johnson in 68? After RFK entered the race, RFK was leading in the Democratic primary with 44 percent. Look at this. LBJ was just getting 41 percent of the Democratic vote. This is these numbers are far worse than what Joe Biden is facing right now among the Democratic electorate. Yeah, overall voters want him to leave, but Democratic voters like Joe Biden. The numbers Joe Biden's getting right now don't look anything like the last two times that Democratic incumbents decided, you know what, it's time for me to step aside. If, the, if this landscape is not what Joe Biden is looking at, is there a scenario that Joe Biden, what Joe Biden's up against is more more like. Yeah. Uh, how about the last incumbent who had approval ratings about as bad as Joe Biden did among the overall electorate? Think he should quit the presidential race. Back in 1992, remember George H.W. Bush faced Pat Buchanan that primary. It wasn't too serious. He won all the primaries, but there was still some inkling for him to get out of the race. But, but this polling was taken after he was the presumptive nominee. Twenty four percent of Republicans thought that George H.W. Bush should get out of the race. Compare that now. Thirty two percent of Democrats think that Joe Biden should get out of the race. These numbers look a lot more comparable than the 52 or the 68 scenario. Look, this number could change. This number could go up. But at this particular point, the numbers that Joe Biden is facing amongst his base look a lot more like 1992 when George H.W. Bush not only stayed in the race, but he ran hard, obviously lost that November right. to Bill Clinton. But this number looks a lot more like an incumbent who's going to stay in the race than one who's going to get out. Very interesting in this moment in time. We'll see what happens days and weeks down the road. Thanks, Harry. You know, the markets have done pretty well, though, uh, under Joe Biden.